Hey guys, this is Mike Fair Service. Uh, normally streaming on Twitch, trying something new. Uh, on Twitch, I'm M Fair Service. I normally paint and you know game on Twitch. I've done a couple Blood Bowl games. Blood Bowl will be this week, and I'll do some painting this week as well. But I want to show you guys the stuff I've gotten in November for uh, miniatures. I still have to paint. Let's start off with these guys here. Start off with War here, War Machine. Got two of these, Signar Cyclone Defender, heavy war jacks. I really enjoy painting these war jacks of any kind. They're quite fun to paint. Um, I have Braylon, the Wanderheart, Trollkin Outlaw. Troll Impaler, Troll Blood Light War Beast. Uh, Crystal Stone, Stone, Stone Scribes, Troll Blood Troops. Signar Lone Gunner Infantry Officer and Standard. Sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast. I've never done this before. On YouTube for live. Um, there's Midas, Pharaoh Born Grinder, sorry, Pharaoh Bone Grinder Wardlock. He's uh, from uh, Wards. Got a Carador War Machine, Vladimir Tepishi, the Dark Prince Warcaster. Another troll blood here. Creel Warrior Caber Thrower Special Weapons Attachment. And I got a minion here for Hordes. Helga the Conqueror, Feral Warlock. Circle Vorobos. Kruger the Stormwrath. He's a warlock. And another Signar, Lone Gunner Lieutenant and Standard. Oh, there's more to come, guys. Way more to come. There's also Winter Troll, Troll Blood Light War Beast. Troll Blood Crail Warriors. Signar Artificer, General Nemo, and Stormcaster Adept Caitlin Finch. Pig Burrowers. Oh. <laughs> Bile Thrall, Drake McBain, Mercenary, sounds kind of cool. Still learning how to play War Machine. I haven't really done it yet. Um, Braylon Wanderheart, Trollkin Outlaw, I've got another one of those. Signar Minuteman, Light Warjack. Looking forward to painting these Warjacks. I really like Warjacks. Uh, last Warjack I painted was this guy here. That's a Beast 09. And um, I've gone over this on Twitch already, but just so you guys see it, what I did is is I created a, a base using green stuff and uh, styrofoam. Um, learn something. Uh, you can't spray paint styrofoam or it melts. It gets all bubbly and stuff, but it works really well for this lava base that I created. I think it turned out really well. I enjoyed painting this. I'm looking forward to further War Jacks to paint. But on with the show. Um, more Bile Thrall Troopers. And this is... Who is this? Uh, 
Oh, <laughs> this is weird. I got a different card. It says KZ Eliminators on here, but the card is for Convict Joseph Grigorovich. And it is Grigorovich. So nice little error box there. Thank you, Privateer Press. Um, um, Colden Lord. He is a Carador. I have quite a bit of Carador and, and uh, Troll Bloods by the looks of it. These are from the Convergence of Crisis, Kyrsis. They're obstructors. They look kind of cool to paint. There's more Creole Warriors. Two packs. Creole Warriors. Looks like I'm going to be able to put together quite the Troll Blood army. Signar, another Lancer Warjack. Another Convergence of Crisis, a Mitigator, Light Vector. These are plastic, they're plastic units, so they're going to be way easy to put together. I prefer putting together the uh, plastic units. <clears throat> this is Midas, Pharaoh, Born, Pharaoh Bone Grinder Warlock. And this is a Retribution of Scrya, a Gorgon, a Light Merriminden. Another mech. Looking forward to that. So that's what I have in this bin. Got another bin I have to do. Um, any of you guys who are following um, the new stuff coming out from D&D, &D, for D&D &D miniatures, I got a few of those as well. This is going to be really fun to do. It's the uh, gelatinous cube. It's going to be neat. It's got things stuck in the inside that I'm going to be able to paint. Looking forward to that. It's going to be lots of washes. So I'm going to be able to see through it still, just like a gelatinous cube. Hard to find. I'm still, still trying to find a beholder. But I think they are going to be few and far between. So I do hear that there is a new printing of the Beholder and the Minutes coming out. Um, there's also the uh, Phase Spider and a Adult Remores. Looking really forward. I like the fact that these are pre primed. Um, these off to the side because I'll show those after. Back to War Machine. Ooh. So this is a mercenary, Lady Anya and Master Holt. Another mercenary, Eris, Angel of Retribution. Crix, Master Nanotech, Montebera, and Drelis. And this is Grimkin with Wicked Harvest, Twilight Sisters. More coming. Troll Bloods. A troll Bouncer. He's a light war beast. Another Signar. Trencher Long Gunners. <coughs> Carador. Cossite Woodsman. Big bushwhackers. They feel metal. This is a, I think, a smaller unit of pig bushwhackers. 
sorry, pig burrowers. These are pig burrowers. There is a smaller kit of pig bushwhackers. Mercenaries, steelhead halberdiers, Carador, Winter Guard Rifle Corps, another Winter Guard Rifle Corps, then Iron Fang Pikemen and Black Dragons. Now for the Warhammer. Picked up that. I'm a huge fan of Skaven. Looking really forward to getting into this. I have some of them already. I used I, I bought a second one of these, and I used uh, this guy here and this guy here as gutter runners for my Blood Bowl team. My Blood Bowl team is undefeated so far. Looking forward to playing my next game. I, I'm in a league at my local game shop. <clears throat> I picked up this guy, Shadespire. So to go along with my Skaven team, this here comes with two teams. Uh, Liberators and Blood Reavers. This was the um, first under uh, Warhammer Underworlds box. Looking forward to getting into painting that and playing it. I'm a big fan of Magic the Gathering, so this kind of puts miniatures and magic together, in my opinion. Um, and then second starter, Warhammer Underworlds, the Night Vault. Another one I'm looking forward to getting into. This one here. It comes with seven Thornbriar Queen fighters and three Cursebreaker fighters. So it looks like it's uh, Night Haunts versus the uh, Storm Rage or basically the, the Golden Knights. Um, looking forward to getting into this as well because I think the Night Haunts are sick. Really, really cool looking. Um, if I get into Age of Sigmar, it's either going to be the Deep Kin or the Night Haunts that I play as right now for War Machine, sorry, not War Machine, uh, 40K, I play uh, Nurgle. So uh, uh, Death Guard, Death Guard's who I play normally and uh, looking to get some games in on that. Um, but uh, this is my first stream. Uh, that's my haul for November so far. I'll let you guys know when I get more. And uh, I think this went pretty flawlessly. Thanks for viewing. And we will see you later. Bye.